Hey everybody, it's LS11. Hold up. There we go. Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, between episodes, or this might just be in the middle of an episode, Clock, this, the cast form, is level 100. So now, with a level 100 Pokemon, this is one of the last times we'll be seeing Eliza in this Let's Play. Mysterious ring is floating. You want to put your hand deep in the hole? One of my favorite legendary Pokemon, and one of only maybe four, five, possibly, Pokemon I like from Generation 5. Reshiram. A fire and dragon type. Pretty insane typing, isn't it? And his music? Not bad, is it? Man, Eliza has a lot more stuff for catching Pokemon than I do. It's a blue eyes white dragon. I just realized that Reshiram is a blue eyes white dragon. So story time with Reshiram here. Reshiram is the only legendary I've ever used on my team when playing through a game. Like, when playing through a Pokemon game. Because I was so lost when playing through Generation 5. And you get Reshiram before you're done with the story of the game. So, naturally, I used it. Get out there, clock. Little level 100 idiot. Come on, a white and red ball for a red, for a white and some some red Pokemon. Nope. Would've been a cool pattern to have together though. I believe this is actually Eliza's last legendary. Fusion Flare. I'm surprised it took this long to show it. This is its signature move. If my cast form wasn't level 100, it would have done a lot of damage. Well, dang. I was actually hoping that was it.
Not yet. Pokeball, let's go. It's worked pretty well for whatever reason on a lot of Pokemon. Okay. Thought it was gonna work just right there again. So, I guess while I'm talking about this, and I talked about it last episode, so never mind. So I'm not really something I need to talk about again. great you are, don't do this to me. I was literally just talking about how much I like Rush Around, and now it's being a jerk, and no This is Eliza's last chance for a legendary. Let's see what happens. Eh, about what I thought. Fusion Flare. For a not very effective move, that was a lot of damage rush around. Ah, come on. Oh, this is going to be super effective. How am I not sent out pudding yet? She can't be hit by Dragon Breath. I have no way to put it to sleep or paralyze it or anything. Should have brought UC with me because it's still on Eliza's timeline right now. So. Or that. Or we'll just do that. Vast white Pokemon. This legendary Pokemon can scorch the world with fire. It helps those who want to build a world with trust. And yes, we will nickname it. We will nickname it. Savior? Is that how you... Is that how you spell Savior? Yeah, that's right. Alright. And, um... Well. That's it for Eliza. She really, actually, no joke, has nothing left. So, I'll be back in just a minute's time. Eliza rides off into the moonlight. All right, and now back in the world of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We're here just above Petalburg City at the moment, but 
So I want to show off one thing real quick. I'm not going to go to every one of these locations right now. That'll be another episode for another day. But we now have Mirage Forest. This was all from connecting to the internet, by the way. Mirage Forest. Mirage Mountain. So every time you connect to Spot Pass and Street Pass people, you get new Mirage locations. And there is one that has a very low chance of happening, and it is called the Lunar Island. And we will hopefully be seeing it fairly soon. I make no promises, though. So, now we're going to go back inside the Pokemon Center. And much like we did with Eliza a few moments ago, going into the PC. Also, we got save, we got Lambo back, so we are one-third of the way to having some of our legendaries back. But, more importantly right now, we have Clock. Sorry, Excalibur. Actually, Becky's going to be less useful in this, to be honest. But now we're going to step outside of the Pokemon Center in Moss Deep. We're going to save the game. here by the Namos Cavern. Already. Again, I got confused and thought it was going to be one of those big smoke clouds again. Forgot it was just called Endless Cavern. Wait a minute, that's... That's that's where we got Mesperidiles off in you, so you never mind. I'm tired, okay? Give me a break. These legendary episodes are not easy to do. Yep, Fable Kid. There's still another... There's still more than seven legendaries to go. Seven of them just require my clock-based events to start working again. Electrifying pressure. Save again. Zekrom. The other half of the duo. Fusion Bolt. Well, it's wasting no time showing us its signature move. I'm just trying to lower its speed with uh, Raphael and good night, Raphael. Let's go, Dan. Now, while Reshiram was a dragon of fire type, Zekrom is a is an electric dragon type. Pretty cool, right? I thought so. Only downside is, starting in Generation 6, you cannot paralyze electric types anymore. Oh, that's way too close for comfort. Oh! Alright, Clock, get out of here again.
Nope. I need to find some way to make money quick in this game. Not again. Ow. Alright, this worked on Reshiram. But it does not work on Zekrom. This is actually the first time I've ever caught Zekrom. If I catch it, anyway. This is the first time I'm ever attempting to catch a Zekrom. I've only ever caught Reshiram because I've never owned Pokemon White version. Yeah, I'd rethink my statement there, but yeah, it's pretty much a white version. <sighs> okay. Come on now. Don't be that guy. You're being that guy right now, is that calm? I have not gotten a single ball to shake once on Zekrom yet. Just throwing that out there. Hoping maybe he would even catch there, potentially, just to kind of spite me for saying that. No such luck, though. Come on, Zekrom! Oh wow, one whopping shake, jerk. A great ball again. Come on, man! It's ten thirty at night. I don't have to be up. I don't have to be up too terribly early tomorrow, but I still have class tomorrow. I'm like, don't have time for this, Zekrom. I want to go to bed, and I don't want to just waste my master ball on. It. Look at this. He has not shaken more than once. General hugs, go. This is ridiculous. As much as I'm down for listening to this music, this is not the way I want to listen to this music. Come on. Wow, crit. Oh, great. I'm going to white out against this thing.
For now, I'm not wasting that. Real sick of your shit, Zekrom. I think he could hear me. I... I... The deep black Pokemon. Concealing itself in lightning clouds, it flies through the Unova region. It creates electricity in its tail. Alright, um... I'm gonna call this because it heard me. I know it heard me when I said that. That's something I never would bring myself to say on YouTube, usually. But it heard me say it, and it was like, all right, fine, I'll get involved. Um, let's see here. I'm not creative. All right, one more thing to do. Now then, with a slight restock on Ultra Balls. And now with Zekrom and Reshiram both in the party. Cave. I actually don't know exactly where I'm going, to be honest with you. Not Mount Pyre. Still not Mirage Cave. Whoa! Into a wild Pokemon is where I'm going, apparently. Oh, hi, Murkrow. That's random. I'm gonna try and catch it real quick, honestly, because I need some trade fodder. throw a Pokeball at it. I mean, we got 20 of those, and they're still... There's still 10, 11 legendaries left in this game. We're about to get, we're about to knock it down to 10. Because as I said, this episode's being recorded before I've cut Regigigas. The Murkrow is not what I set up to catch today, actually. Get out of here.
So it's not Pathless Plain, I know that for a fact, because that's where we haven't been able to get yet. Okay, now I know where I'm going. Gnarled Den, near Fall, it's right near Fall Arbor Town. Gnarled. It's an interesting word, isn't it? Gnarled. I swear I'm sober when I do this. Wish I was old enough to drink right now. Goodness, oh my god. The area is filled with freezing pressure. Save the game again. Oh wow, I... Kyrem. 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 I call it Kyrem. Personally. The mascot of what many believed was going to be the never-released Pokemon Grey, which actually was just Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. Games I will not be playing on the channel, thank you. Unless I decide to play them instead of Black and White 1. Haven't really gotten that far yet. Still another year away. Before Glaciate! It's signature move. Does a lot of damage. And of course, it's gonna power through paralysis twice. And now I guess we'll switch into General Hugs. Sure. This is gonna work. Pokeball is the first thing we throw because why not? Figure. This thing literally hisses at you. It's crazy. I don't know how I'm going to catch this thing. Oh, come on! I was sitting here, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything there when I said I don't know how I'm going to catch this thing. Because when it shook three times, I was going to just go, like that. Ah, oh, come on. Kyrum, I still have so many legendaries to catch. Quit acting like you deserve special treatment. I actually almost considered using the Master Ball in Kyrum. It has faked me out twice now. At least when Zekrom shook for the three times, the first time it caught it. Oh, come on. Just get in the ball and stay in there. Premier ball it. Because I think this is actually what I caught it in the one time I've ever caught a Kyrim in my life. It's been over ten years, but still. Actually, how long has it been? It hasn't been over ten years. Black and white, too. Or black and white is not ten, ten years old yet, is it? It was, like, within a few weeks of Black and White being out. This is a bad idea, sending Dan in here against an ice type, but sure.
and I really don't know what to do. Ah. Okay, it was released on September 18th, 2010, because I got it on September 19th, 2010, when my pre-order of it came in from eBay. Yeah, I pre-ordered it on eBay. That's kind of sketchy, I know, but I was 10 years old, so give me a break. And I did catch Kyrim in that game. I did not play too terribly much of Black and White. Uh, I actually had Black, but Gavin decided to pretty much take it for himself, even though I legitimately... Not me as a little kid asking my parents to pay and saying I bought it. No, saved up money doing chores for like months. And then the day it came in, Gavin asked if he could play it for a minute just to try it. And by the time I got it back, I already had two gym badges. So there's still so much of that game I've never seen. And I don't like the game. I went, I went back and replayed it a couple times recently. Yes! Kyrim. The boundary Pokemon. It generates a powerful freezing energy inside itself, but its body became frozen when the energy leaked out. And just because it's a very powerful dragon... That's probably not how you spell Alduin, but it's close enough. I've misspelled Dovahkiin plenty of times in life, so it's fine. And that's it. Another Legendary down. Granted, I can't get the other seven until my clock-based events start working again. Yeah, it's been over 24 hours since I did it last at this point, so we'll see. We're just gonna... Just gonna really try... The old college try. Let's give it the old college try. And Xander, if it works, split the video. If it doesn't, well, I'm just gonna end the video. I can't move. You feel a quiet gaze, testing me. Ooh, wonderful! See you all next time.